Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to This Is Me podcast. I am podcasting from my car today because I am multitasking as usual. And um, I just wanted to share a little bit of insight since I've taken the leap of faith on becoming a full-time entrepreneur, working for myself, and I watch so many videos where everyone's like, find your niche, find your niche. You should find your niche. Like, finding your niche means like doing something that you're passionate about and that just really brings you joy. And I just want to refer to this message that I saw on TikTok the other day. And this guy was talking about like, we have so many different lanes and we as humans are so quick to veer off of the lanes. However, you have to be intentional and stay focused on the lane that lights up. And I'm like, man, that resonated with me so much because um, I was doing something. I was speaking to a client and looking up houses and stuff like that and just um, sending out pitches to all these brands to try to do a collaboration. Like, while I'm doing those things, my lane is lit up while I'm pad- podcasting. My lane is lit up. And taking the leap of faith is very scary because you don't know what the outcome is going to be. You don't know if all the work that you're putting in, if it's going to result to something. And, you know, your bank account is not matching up to the hard work that you're putting in. But this is a time where your faith has to be stronger than ever this is a time where your belief in yourself has to be stronger than ever and the last few weeks i've really been waking up like a ton of bricks but today like the last two days i've just been waking up like lighter looking forward to the day and i went you know yeah i know i'm an imperfect soldier of god and i went and um my girlfriend sent me this message about this pastor who say who said anoint your door anoint everything around you anoint your house you know get to some anointing oil so I, I didn't know what that I'm like where do I get this anointing oil because the people are peopling the world is like acting weird the energy is just off so I've been just talking to God and like just tell me what I need to do so my sister said get some olive oil put silver rosemary in it and perfect because I had all of that and she said okay now you pray over your oil you anoint your own oil so I said all right I'll call you back so I did I had a long conversation with God I asked him for what I wanted I, I thanked him for all I have and I thanked him for all that is to come I put it on my door I poured some outside and they said to leave it where it's visible in the living room or in your kitchen don't put it away and i kid you not when i f- i have i feel such a sense of relaxation and peace and you know i used to feel so heavy so this may not work for everyone everyone may not believe it but i'm just telling what worked for me I can only share my path and my journey that is not going to be easy I like to share with you the good the bad and the ugly the happy the cries and the you know the snot nose but most importantly I just want you to remember to um, live a life of happiness and it's so hard because there's so much noise around us that kind of that kind of distracts us from that and as long as you're intentional about doing what you love and trying to live a happy life, then you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. Just stay prayed up. Don't be afraid to set your boundaries. Don't be afraid to, you know, leave those people, those friends who are no longer for you and, and aren't elevating you. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. I just felt like I just needed to share that that um i took the leap of faith it was scary it's still scary but it's also exciting and i'm curating the life that i want for myself despite what anybody has to say um despite the 
doubters and the haters and you know the haters are my motivators yeah so i love you all as always like subscribe comment and i'll talk to you soon